All right, time All right. for the nine at nine. Uh, number nine, more adults are buying tricycles. According to the Wall Street Journal, they want stability that oh. comes from three wheels, plus Let's they want pass. more cargo space. Tricycles have larger baskets that can hold more groceries. And look at how small fun pets. and whimsical. Yeah, a lot of whimsy. Bicycles rose in popularity in the recent years with more people looking to get outside during the pandemic. And sales are way up for three-wheeled bikes, especially for families. Plus, there's lots of options out there with retro vibes and cool colors like blues, oranges, and pinks. This I, has got you know your what? name all over. I would totally get one of yeah. those. I'm yeah. not kidding. Because it's just, what, why are you shaming people who want that extra wheel? Right. What, yeah. You know, sometimes it's a lot of work to balance. I like just relaxing, yeah. and you have a yeah. basket for your stuff. Right. You got a heater in one hand, yeah. got I mean, your you beer can in the other. You can still drive that thing. That looks fabulous yes. to me. But you won't get one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number eight. A lot of us probably didn't look as cool as we thought we did in college. Like, who do you think this guy is? Oh, yeah. What's, um... Oh, that's, um... That's, he's all is that Chris uh, Pine? Disney, yeah. Chris Pine. Is that, yeah, is Chris, Chris Pine. Pine? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy, that was not a good look for Wow, Wowie. He didn't really start acting until after college at Cal Berkeley. All right. And you know what his group of fans call themselves? Pine Nuts. Oh, isn't that <laughs> wacky. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. Isn't it? Is his father the one who was the the police chief in Chips or something? Or uh, oh anyway. yeah, that is right. Is that oh, right? Yeah, well, there yeah, was a yeah. deep dive there right. that I forgot about. Right. Yeah. Anyway, right. for another day. Fall on track. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. We're looking at some of the worst tourist traps according to tourists. BuzzFeed asked people to share their picks. This one came up a lot. Plymouth Rock. Allison said this is quite literally just a medium-sized rock with 1620 carved in it. Unimpressive. Oh. And Will said this, I was so hyped to see this when I was a kid. My little brain said that it was going to be sitting in the water with a dent in it from the boat hitting it. I was so disappointed with what I found. I can't wait to bestow the same misery upon my children this summer when they too look down into the open-air mausoleum for a rando carved boulder. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a whole, like... Pilgrim recreation there, so that's why people go down there. So not it's the just journey the to the rock. Yes, you get to see pilgrims come to life ah. and treat the Native Americans terribly. Oh <laughs> my! Wow. Well, all right. Fun times. All right, number six. Uh, here's a real quick video to help you get pumped this Monday and start your week off right. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, I think it's a trampoline workout class. Yeah, you can take these now pretty much everywhere. Look at the intensity. I mean, she's she's really, those knees yeah. are really going up high. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, everybody plays she's 25. Let's see yeah, how she's yeah, doing yeah, in another yeah. 10, 15 years. I'd be right knees. in the back row. Yeah. Back and to the right. Back row row. Right. That's <laughs> a big deal. Yeah. Exactly right. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can still hear you. <laughs> I'm back here. Can you slow down? All right, number five. NASA's Mars rover made a strange discovery recently. A picture from the mass camera shows what it looks like, or what looks like, I should say, a door to nowhere. Uh-huh. Here's a color picture of it. Wow. Because there's the original picture. There was plenty of speculation on social media. Some oh, thought good. it was an entrance to an alien temple. Uh, right, yeah. As expected, the theories were all debunked. According to experts at CNET, experts. watching it in context as part of the whole mosaic is a little niche in a rock with other blocks, uh, fractures, shapes, and other erosive fractures. So it's just, it's nothing. So it's well, just, you got to look at it in the big picture hmm. when you see the other. I say it's nothing. It's because they're CNET doesn't mean they're right. Well, they've got to be more might, more right than people just weighing in on social media. Yes. i got to think they have some uh, experts there. Experts. <laughs> Geologists, what do they know about rocks? <laughs> Number four, there's a mathematical trick called the 37% rule that will help you make the best decisions for lots of different areas of life. And that could be anything from picking a spouse to choosing a storefront oh. for a new business. All right. Mathematicians say you should spend the first 37% of your decision-making process by gathering information, right. but committing to nothing. Right. Okay. After that period, choose the next option that comes along that is better than everything you've seen before it. 
There's a whole formula behind it, but the idea is that this gives the highest probability of making the optimum choice. For example, if you're looking to buy a home okay. and give yourself a month, don't make a decision before the first third of that month, about 37%. Then buy the next home, that's the best one you've seen. For finding a spouse, if right. we assume most people want to be settled down by 40, 40? You start dating as a teen, then at age around 26, you should get married, assuming you love the person and he or she is the best option you've come across. I got to say, I'm more confused. A lot of math. A lot of in math that. in there, Way Larry. too much math. I think it's best to just kind of go with your instincts. Yeah. That's always served us well. Look at us. Yeah. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do the math, actually, yeah. the more yeah. I think about right. it. Yeah. All right, number three, thousands of employees at the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas were surprised with bonuses. What? And we're not that? talking about a few hundred bucks. Each, this is a bonus of something where people get extra money. Like each what? worker received $5,000. Whoa! They found about the news at an employee appreciation awards buffet. Have you heard an of one of those? Buffet? An awards What's buffet. That? Representatives say it will cost the company more than $27 million. And wow. uh, that's they say they're the, the Vegas uh, they're they're doing well. People are back uh, back to going to Vegas again. Boy, so. if wow. only we worked for a company that made hundreds of millions of dollars, maybe oh. we too would get a bonus. Huh. Maybe it's just us that aren't getting the bonuses. <laughs> right. Ray? No. How many No, no. 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 Ray still no. trying to get status. No, uh, no. Lothar. Lothar, you Lothar, no? no. <laughs> Wait, have you looked in your mailbox lately? Hey, when was the last yeah. time you looked in your mailbox? <laughs> Do we, uh, do we have mailboxes? Yes. <laughs> How about a buffet? Have you been to the buffet here? No, no. no buffet either, huh? <laughs> Matt, any oh, buffet well. for you? No. Yeah, oh well. All right, number two, here's a cool video of Tessa and Scott. They were a Canadian ice dancing team and are the most decor decorated Olympic figure skaters of all time. And what's interesting is that Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer were paired in 1997 at the ages of seven and nine and they skated together for 20 plus years and all of Canada and ice dancing fans fell in love with their amazing chemistry on and off the ice so it would seem like they have to be a couple right actually no Tess is dating a hockey player in the NHL and Scott is engaged they are retired from skating but they say they have a bond and a friendship that will last forever The mesh sleeves, we got to bring that back, Robin. Maybe one yeah. day the two of us will do, do mesh sleeves. For both, both of us? Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. We got to work on our, like, you know, Routine. routines. <laughs> 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 you know, there's something to be said, Larry, if we want to take it to the next level. Let's, I mean, we talked about doing that on roller skates and you backed out. Well, I, I, I had, a, I was worried uh, and, about uh, breaking uh, a hip. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I could probably, yeah. I, I remember doing yeah. things better yeah. than I, I One don't know. For you, you're at that season of life where right, that could be. Right, but if I have my feet breaking a hip, you're not 70. I'm just saying I haven't roller skated in a long time, and right. I just I was a little. Maybe we could just do it with our feet 70. on the ground. We can do dancing, oh, yeah. you know. Just a couple skate. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, we're no strangers to technical glitches around here, but back in 2017, the BBC had one that even surpassed us. They were trying to get into a news update segment, but they couldn't get the breaking news animation to go away, and then it just went on for four minutes. Check it out. No one started talking. It is a nice graphic. It I'll is give nice. them that. That's a pretty picture. I don't mind too. seeing that a little bit longer. Now we lost the guy. Yeah. Oh. There he is. And you think he'd start <laughs> yeah. talking or yeah, something? Yeah, or smile. Yeah. Let oh. that be a lesson to the powers that be. When you start putting in robots in here, you think, oh, we can get rid of all the expensive employees. Just let robots run the place. This is what's going to happen. <laughs> Going to happen? Have you seen the show in the last yeah. ten years? We're long past Are that. Are you sure he's not a robot? Yeah, he, he might hasn't be one too. Oh, why, didn't well. he, why didn't he jump in there? I, I don't know. He's thinking about it. Oh boy. Well. Yeah, all right. Good times. That's the nine at nine. It's the nine at nine.